It was bullshit. Okay. That's the equivalent of the bull that it had in it. Because I was looking at something that had absolutely no bearing on where price was going to go next. All it was doing was saying what was obvious anyway. If I just looked at the open, high, low, and close, the market's been going up. I don't need, you don't need a moving average to tell you that. And I don't need, and you don't need an overbought and oversold indicator to tell you if it's overbought. So those things are useful for traders that need to have a catalyst, something to get them into a trade because they have no understanding about what price is doing. They have an understanding and a faith-based logic that these patterns should do this. Now think about what you're saying. This is exactly what I was doing. I was saying that my nine day moving average difference between on a 50 day moving average, the difference between today's value and nine days ago is gonna tell me if I should trust price going up or down. Instead of simply taking that shit off the chart and looking at the price. It was going up. Move out what's already happened. Of course it's going to be going up. And you don't need a trend line. But see what that does is it gives you a focal point to take all of your attention and say, okay, I'm going to look at this thing, this trend line, this moving average, this harmonic pattern, this whatever whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to bring to the, the discussion of retail logic and trading, that thing, that's your point of interest. That's your decision-making mechanism. If it does this, I'll do that. If it doesn't do this, I'm doing nothing. 